This is FYI News 13, brought to you by SSPTV and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. For your information, there's another new store at the Laurel Mall. We'll talk with a member of the local family that owns Grand Central Furniture about their new location. We made it to Friday. Thanks for celebrating with us at SSP TV. They call me Ken Karen. We call this show FYI. Here's your headlines from FYI and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. Today, the ribbon was cut on another new store inside the Laurel Mall. Grand Central at 40 South Vine Street in downtown Hazelton has been in business for more than 40 years. And now this well-known business is expanding its services by opening a second location inside the Laurel Mall. We were there as the ribbon was cut on this prominent family business known for appliances, TVs, furniture and mattresses. You know what, the Laurel Mall came after us and said, you know, we have a great opportunity for you to come up to the Laurel Mall and show what you guys are about being in downtown Hazleton. Sometimes people forget about us a little bit, so uh, we brought a sample of everything. People remember us as an appliance and TV store, but they forget that our furniture and mattresses are twice the size of our appliances and, and our TVs. So we thought it was a great example to come up here and show everything that we had and, you know, show the community. You grew up here. Is it nice, you know, downtown Hazleton's being um, revitalized. You guys are still down there making right. an impact. And now the Laurel Mall, same thing. They're trying to make a big go of it. You're a part of that as well. You know what? The Laurel Mall, the, the management team here is just, uh, they're unbelievable. Rocco, Lisa, the guys down in Lakewood, New Jersey, they're just, they're hammering at it. They're getting, they're brought an anchor in with Dunham's. And, you know, that's very unheard of today in today's market. And they're just going after it and the advertising. They're really doing a great job. You guys are having a grand opening sale. Why should people come in, especially now? Oh, God. You know why? Because of our, our fair, honest prices and our advice. We know what we're talking about. This is what we breathe. You know, we don't sell washers and screws. I mean, we, we live and breathe appliances and mattresses and furniture. We go to all the training seminars, and you could chop our prices, and we do the homework. We, we know where we're at. The newest location of Grand Central in the Laurel Mall will be open seven days a week, Monday through Saturday from 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. and Sundays from noon until 5 p.m. Congressman Lou Barletta has received a letter in response to a painting he presented to the staff of Pope Francis during his visit to Washington, D.C. The Apostolic Nuncio, the chief diplomat for the Vatican in the United States, has written to the congressman extending the Pope's gratitude and acknowledging the receipt of a painting created by Hazelton artist Salvador de Fazio. The painting entitled A Prayer for Peace is seen here with Barletta. It depicts a pair of hands reaching upward toward a dove and star in the sky. De Fazio was named named Hazleton's first poet laureate by then mayor Lou Barletta. Well, if you travel along Route 309 south in Hazel Township this weekend, you'll see a homeless veteran awareness sleep out. The event Warm a Hero, Warm Your Heart is being sponsored by Voices for the Fallen, a nonprofit organization. The sleep out runs from 6 p.m. tonight until Sunday at noon to raise awareness and to collect items for homeless veterans. Watch for the signs near Four Seasons Drive along Route 309 south. You're invited to drop off blankets, backpacks, sleeping bags, rated to zero degrees, waterproof clothing, canned foods with pool tabs, toiletries, and monetary donations. For more information, go to ValorClinic.org or check out Voices for the Fallen on Facebook. With crime on the rise in many communities, police chiefs throughout the area are asking residents to help their eyes and ears, to pay close attention to what's going on in their neighborhoods, and to report any suspicious activity. Two ladies who are doing just that joined our Sam LaSant to talk about Crime Watch organizations and their impact on crime. Judy Yurchko is coordinator of the NW Neighborhood Crime Watch in Hazleton, and 79-year-old Sylvia Thomas is the coordinator of the Alter Street Crime Watch. It's basically looking out for your neighbor which is something way back when, that's what we did. We knew who our neighbors were. We used to go out and hang clothes on the line. We would talk over the fence. If the neighbor was going away, uh, they would say, could you watch my house? Can you watch my dog? A lot of the neighbors had keys for each other's houses. I remember growing up as a kid, we knew everyone on the block for a two block radius both ways and up and down. And now anymore, it seems that there are people that don't even know who they're living next to. Um, they won't even say hi to the, the person. It's more or less you're walking around with blinders on. And uh, that's what we need to go back to. We need to know who our neighbors are. What we the people have to do is to get involved and get more demanding. Phone or email your mayor and council, your representatives and senators, and your district attorney and your attorney general, and demand help from them. Also attend crime watch meetings. 
You'll find out what's going on in your neighborhood and other neighborhoods. You may come up with an idea of what to do to get your city back. But crime watches won't be of any help to the city without the cooperation of the mayor, council, police, and city hall. We have to work together. Don't miss this very informative Sam LaSanne show tomorrow at 10 a.m. and at 1.30 p.m. and Sunday at 2.30, 4.30, 7.30, and 11.30 p.m. on SSP TV. You can also watch online at SSPTV.com. A Hummelstown police officer charged in the shooting death of a Hazleton native was found not guilty yesterday. A Dauphin County jury found Lisa Merkel not guilty of third degree, and, or third degree murder and involuntary manslaughter in the death of 59-year-old David Kasich. The Kasichs grew up in Hazleton and David's brother still resides here. Merkel's lawyer says it was self-defense. Plans were announced last night to contain a mine fire burning beneath the community of Jeansville. Officials from DEP and the Bureau of Abandoned Mine Reclamation told residents of Banks Township last night that two huge trenches will be dug around the mine fire in an effort to contain and extinguish it. The process is expected to take two years. Well, coming up next on FYI, we meet a cat that loves a window seat at the Hazleton Animal Shelter. Stay tuned for Adopt Me. And later, some of the seniors on the North Schuylkill football team are featured on our Football Friday feature season finale. This is FYI News 13. Brought to you by SSP TV and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. How many of you looking to get married would really, really like to have a wedding coordinator, but you don't think it's in your budget? Here at Sand Springs, you get one included in your package, and we're with Stacy to talk about how they make your wedding a dream wedding and also of your choice as far as you can customize what you want at your wedding. Exactly. Every couple is completely different about what they want. Mm -hmm. And most couples um, haven't been to many weddings. They don't really know what they want and that's the hardest part of all. So here what's nice is that I meet with couples when they come in. I show them the ballroom, show them outside in the garden, the ceremony site, and I'm here to meet with them the entire way through the wedding planning process. So when they're asking questions about decorations and linens and the cake, I work with them with all of that. Um, we can set up meetings and tastings and they can come in and see what they want because sometimes when you see things, that's when you know if that's the right thing for you for your wedding. Oftentimes, people think that when they have a wedding planner, uh, they're only going to see them in the beginning, and when they sign on, they're not going to even talk to them till maybe a couple weeks leading up to your wedding. That is certainly not the case, as I've seen Stacy even matches her outfit with the bride the day of. So again, paying attention uh, to detail is something you do here at Sand Spring. Absolutely. Every detail is so important, no matter what it is. There's no such thing as something being too small. And what's nice here is that because we have done this before, we've seen different weddings, we've seen things that work, and we've seen things that could be improved upon. So it's really helpful with the brides when they come in that we can give them feedback and some ideas that maybe they've never thought of before. And there are no hidden costs. The wedding planner is included in their costs when they come here to book their wedding. That's correct. When they come in, we're here with them every step of the way. Anybody that works here can help them with anything um, we can answer questions, we can set different things up. And what's great, like you were saying, is that we're here from the beginning all the way through the very end. We're here even after the bride and groom leave at the end of their wedding. So we're here every single step of the way. All right, Stacey, we'll even do the bridal dance with you if you'd like her to, right? Absolutely. All right, join us each and every week right here on FYI. Time now for FYI News 13 weather. Here's a beautiful scene in the Hazleton Heights and don't let the leaves fool you. It was spring outside today. No hoodies needed. In fact, I hope you still have your shorts accessible. But you know what? You can probably put them away tonight. This is our local forecast from the National Weather Service. Tonight will be mostly cloudy with a low around 48 degrees. Northwest wind around 9 miles per hour with gusts as high as 21 miles per hour. Now to our four day outlook Sun Saturday, partly sunny with a high near 55 Saturday night will be partly cloudy, low of 36 degrees. And then on Sunday, it will be sunny once again with a high in the upper 40s. Sunday night, mostly clear with a low right around freezing on Monday, sunny with a high near 51 Monday night will be partly cloudy. Our low will be 37 
And on Tuesday, there's a 30% chance of showers, a partly sunny day with a high of 53 degrees. And then on Tuesday night, mostly cloudy, our low will be 43 degrees. Green screen time on FYI as we look at your midday winning Pennsylvania lottery numbers. Pick 216, pick 3867, pick 40427, and pick 514078. I won on a Ghostbuster scratch off ticket. Good day in the Kara household. It's a good day for everyone right now because here comes Adopt Me from the Hazelton Animal Shelter. Hello again. Today we'd like to update you on one of the animals we featured a couple weeks ago, a little puppy by the name of Serafina. Serafina has recently been tested for heartworm and Lyme disease and is negative for both. She also has been given her rabies shot and has finally been spayed. Serafina is now completely up for adoption and uh, we think she'd do great in a new home. As with before, we're looking for somebody with experience to adopt Serafina because she is a puppy and she will need to be housebroken. Due to her age and energy level, we recommend that Serafina go with somebody who has uh, enough energy to match her and would like to have long walks and playtime in the yard. That's it for this week's dog. Let's have a look at our cats. And here I have with me Ebony. Ebony is an approximately six month old black kitten here in the female colony. She's a domestic short hair who has already been spayed and is current on her vaccines. She has also been tested for feline leukemia and FIV and came up negative for both diseases. Ebony is very affectionate and loves to be held. She's also very playful due to her age. She loves to give kisses and love bites and is very affectionate with humans. She also gets along very well with other cats and has many friends here at the colony. Because she has such an outgoing and friendly disposition, we recommend Ebony not only for first time pet owners, but also anybody who already has a cat or a dog. So if anybody's interested in Serafina, Ebony here, or any of the other animals we have up for adoption, please come on down to the Hazelton Animal Shelter at 101 North Poplar Street. This is FYI News 13 Sports. It's time for some perspective. I can barely go four sentences on this show without making a mistake. The Marion Phillies, well, they won their fourth straight District 11 single A volleyball championship on Thursday night. They're good. That's impressive. Marion and Schuylkill Re League rival Nativity battled for five sets and the Phillies endured and they walk away with the trophy and a trip to the state tournament on Tuesday against Tawanda. Congratulations to Dr. John Falabell and the Phillies. We will have coverage of the champs next week as they open up the state playoffs. On the FYI Standard Speaker scoreboard, Alexis Daly and the local Lady Lions are back. She scored 18 points in the season premiere of Penn State Hazleton basketball. Stephanie Guevara poured in 12 and had seven steals as PSUH gets the non-conference win over Luzerne County Community College. The Penn State Hazleton men, they took a loss in their opener. Our final Football Friday feature is a good one. The North Schuylkill Spartans have had to deal with a bunch of adversity this season. They've battled through injuries and a very difficult anthracite football league, and they're now at a 5-4 and four record. They're chasing a playoff spot now, and I'm sure practices have been intense. But don't worry, the guys are still loose and having fun. Check it out. After practice on Wednesday, North Schuylkill's Gosh Stadium was quiet. There was only a few lights left on, and it was the perfect time for reflection with some of the seniors. The seniors lined up next to their photos that were tied to the stands for senior night on Friday. Some of their thoughts were serious, like wide receiver Jonathan Smith talking about what he plans to do after high school. I'm going to Pennsylvania Schuylkill to play basketball. I might uh, go for uh, education, like for like a special education teacher or something like that. Nice. Education. Why did you want that? How did you end up doing that? Because, like, I was in special ed when I was little, and, uh, like, I like taking care of people. Oh, that's cool. So, like, I, like, I know what it's like. To be honest, most of the thoughts were not so serious. Like this lesson in Cole speak from lineman Dane Tarantelli. You just, just say yo butt. <laughs> that's about it, you know? Just plain with, with that. <laughs> just, it's like skook language. You just gotta say yo butt. Like, our, like, <laughs> use, it, use it in a sentence. Yo butt, where are you going, our lad? Like, stuff like that. If I go online, look up Cole speak, I'll find this. You absolutely, know, absolutely. I still didn't understand after Taryn Telly's example, so I did look it up from coleregion.com. Butt means you or friend. For example, yo butt, hand me that hammer. 
I digress. Some of the thoughts were about their senior day pictures hanging around the stadium. Who has the best picture of everyone here? Have you gone through them? Who's who, who worked out the best? Um, I think Coach Hall is the best one. I mean, <laughs> he, he looks good in his picture there. That's a that's a pretty good looking guy right there. Does Coach Hall smile a lot? I mean, or is that like? A... Oh yeah, I mean it's 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 a common thing. We always see him smile. We always get to him. He he's he's a good guy. It's not like always serious, Coach Hall. He does have that latter side. He'll show you guys. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's serious, but uh, when it when it's on, have fun, have fun. What do you remember about Coach? What are you gonna take away from him? Um, I don't know. Just uh, just him. He'll, he'll get mad at us for some reason. Then like. Two minutes later, he'll he'll be happy. He'll, he'll if we're doing something right, he'll uh, he'll let us know. And I mean, that's that's great about him. There was lots and lots of talk about facial hair. Yeah, I definitely have the best beard. <laughs> <laughs> this was photo day, I guess. Thinking back all the way in before the season, right? Yeah, this was like right after prom when I had to shave it. You had to shave for prom? Was yeah. that a school thing or a different, you know, just for pictures? Kind no, of it was the girl made me shave it. <laughs> Some of the players even spoke about their favorite athletes. Oh, I don't know, probably Pat Gownley. There you go, all right. So you take it, why, why Pat Gownley? I mean, he's always been by my side since I was in, like, minis, and we worked together all the way up through, and I like how he plays. Speaking of running back and defensive back Pat Gownley, we asked him what he's not going to miss about North Schuylkill football. What's up, you're going to be like, you know what, I'm happy that's over. Um, I love it all. I, I don't think I can think of anything right now off the top of my head that I'm going to miss. I, I love playing football. Even that crazy serpentine running thing, you're, you're, you're going to miss that? Uh, I, I like to run. It's not too bad. I mean, it does get tiring at some points, but you got to push through it. Head coach Wally Hall had the last word and very seriously talked about the impact the 2015 North Schuylkill seniors are having on the program. We went through some tough challenges in the beginning of the year. Um, we had a ton of injuries. We had players playing in different positions. And, you know, I got about halfway through the season. It was, it was getting tough. And, I, and I, you know, I sat down and I talked to him and I told him, you know, you guys are the glue of the team. You're the only one that's going to keep it together. And we need to stay, of course. And, you know, they did exactly that. They kept everybody together. We got healthy. Um, we're in a lot better situation. We got things rolling a little better. Eventually, the seniors' pictures will come down, but their hard work, dedication, and leadership will be seen in the younger teammates that they inspired for years to come. Just good luck to some of the younger guys on trying to grow a better beard than Ethan Shoemaker. Cool career choice by Jonathan Smith. Good luck to him and all of the North Schuylkill seniors. Well, the Spartans will be all about business tonight as they look to end the regular season with a victory. North Schuylkill closes out the regular season slate at home against Panther Valley. Up north here in the big city of Hazleton, the Cougars play rival Berwick. It will be legendary Berwick head coach George Curry's last regular season game. Ron Marchetti will talk more about that in a moment. Speaking of rivalries, there's a little one down south, Monoy area and Shenandoah. Shenandoah Valley. This one is serious, and so is the matchup between Tamaqua and Marion Catholic as the Colts look to gallop into the District 11 playoffs, and Tamaqua looks to finish their season at 500. Well, the final Cole Scale rankings on Monday. Right now, it's Ron Marchetti and Short Shots. First Friday, November 6th, Short Shots. Hi, everybody. 25 seniors on the Hazen on your football team will be playing their final high school football game tonight. It will also be Coach George Curry's final regular season game at Burrick, the winningest coach in Pennsylvania scholastic history. Curry's Bulldogs were the USA Today's number one high school football team three times, 1983, 1992, and 1995. He won six PIAA 3A state championships, 1988, 89, 92, 95, 96 and 97, while coaching 11 undefeated regular seasons and once posted a 47th game winning streak. Because of Curry's success, Burke is the third winningest high school program in the state. While at Burrick, Coach Curry has developed seven players who made it to the NFL. He has won 401 games at Burrick, over 450 overall. The Hazel Area Quarterback Club has dedicated one full page in tonight's game program to George Curry. But to see it, you gotta buy it. Burke fans will buy 80% of the program tonight. Good luck to Coach Curry, but not tonight. The Cougars are decisive underdogs, but they have a shot. I didn't say they would win, but they do have a nice chance. Last Friday, the Cougars dropped Daniel Boone 
35 0 for their fourth win of the season. Adrian Otero ran for 167 and two scores. Carson Kinney ran for a buck 33 with two scores. Otero needs 107 yards to become the first sophomore in Hazel and Mountaineers and Hazel and Area Cougars history to rush for 1,000 yards, but it's not going to be easy. Quarterback Ryan Wolk had his career best throwing for 217 yards and one touch. Marion shut out Shannon Val 41 0. KJ Snur ran for 127 while scoring five touchdowns, four on the ground, and one by air from quarterback Ethan Kuzneski. The Colts are 6-3. What else? The KC Royals are world champions after defeating the Mets four games to one, outscoring them 15-1 during the seventh inning and after. Penn State impressed Illinois 39-0. Number 8 Notre Dame had to pull a win out against a tough number 23 Temple, 24-20. The Owls are for real Big games tomorrow, LSU, Alabama, TCU, Oklahoma State, Florida State, Clemson. But the two most watched games in our area, Penn State is at Northwestern and Notre Dame is at Pitt. Both at noon, the Irish have not played at new since 2011. See you at the stadium tonight, right here on Monday. Till then, be a good sport. Stay loose. Be happy, it's Friday, and go to Bottlenecks for half-price happy hour starting at 6 p.m. They have live music and half-price appetizers. Good evening, everyone, and here's tonight's Talk of the Town report. The Hazleton Art League will be holding nearly Armistice Day, an evening of music and poetry to benefit the Soul Kitchen. The event will be held Saturday, November 7th at 7 p.m. A suggested donation of $5 will be accepted at the door, and donations of non-perishable foods are also welcome. For info, call 570-817-1075. And one more announcement, the Survivors After Suicide Support Group meets the second and fourth Tuesday of each month from 6 to 7.30 at Catholic Social Services, 214 West Walnut Street in Hazleton. This is a no-fee open grief group that welcomes survivors at any stage of their grieving process. For info, just call 570-455-1521. At tonight's Talk of the Town. News 13 would like to send sincere condolences to the family and friends of these recently departed. Luis M. Faust of Weatherly, funeral is Monday at 11 a.m. in the Centenary United Methodist Church. Friends may call Monday from 1015 to 1045. Arrangements are under the direction of the Philip J. Jeffries Funeral Home. Peter Pollock Jr. of Allentown, funeral is Monday at 11 a.m. from the Morello Funeral Home. Friends may call Sunday from 2 to 4 p.m. and Monday from 10 to 11 a.m. Eva M. Rannick of Whitehaven, funeral is Saturday at 1 p.m. at the Lehman Family Funeral Service. Friends may call Saturday from 1230 to 1 p.m and David Matthew Tessick Blicken of Brookline, Massachusetts. Service is December 6th at 3 p.m. at the Arlington Street Church in Boston. Attention pay-per-view subscribers, if you see your name right now on News 13, you'll have 13 minutes to call in and win a free movie from Service Electric Cablevision. Our winner tonight is Greg Gooding of Cunningham. Greg, if you're watching, give us a call. 570-455-7267, extension 104. What are you still doing watching FYI? It's first Friday in downtown Hazleton. Get out and have some fun. But wait, before you go, all new out of left field, 8 p.m. Monday, right here on SSP TV. We'll be back with more FYI then, too. Until then, take it easy, everyone.